this might be the jackpot right here. It is storage day number two, getting paid to help clean out a storage unit. Last time we found a fun vintage beer sign, some tools, all sorts of other things. What will we find today? Well, unlock the unit, open the doors, and let's find out. I know there was some speculation about the why this unit was left unpaid and so had to be cleaned out. In the world of storage auctions, it's always, there is always that question. More often than not, if you find a paper, an old bill, a receipt in the unit, you can just do a simple Google search and find out for yourself what happened to the former owner of the unit. In this case, the owner passed away quite some time ago, and so I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess that the family, the you know living friends, living relatives, they just either didn't want the stuff or they didn't have room to store, you know, a 10 by 15, 10 by 20 unit full of things. So I think that's why this unit was quote unquote abandoned. And that, that does happen. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure and one man's treasure is another man's trash. So someone may not have seen the value in some of these items, but fortunately, instead of going to the trash, because that is what happens when these units stay, you know, abandoned and essentially the, um, oh, there's a cat. Oh, it's a groundhog. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, there he is. Oh, see? Oh my gosh. Come here, little guy. He's a fatty. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, <gasps> found a creature in a storage unit. Oh, oh, come back. Come here. Oh my gosh, what if I could be friends with him? Where are you going? Oh, he gone. This is real life. <laughs> That's what I would do if I wasn't recording. <laughs> but yes, anyway, you know, when a, a storage facility has to clean out units themselves, because I have seen it, stuff just goes to the trash. So at least this way, things can be saved, taken to the market, and enjoyed by other people. So, oh, I hope that groundhog comes back. Found groundhog in a storage unit. <laughs> I will not use that as my title because that would be super clickbait. Wouldn't that be hilarious? So we are back. We're gonna work on this side today. I see some boxes already, my favorite. Um, this is leftovers from the flea market that didn't sell. So we'll try them again another weekend. But yeah, so we'll go through this stuff, see what we can find, maybe more treasures, more beer stuff. Who knows? Oh, this, this is an, e an easel. Uh -huh. Wow, that's fancy. Yeah. It actually does. Yeah. yeah, right? It's an easel? I like it, yeah. Okay. I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. Back then, I might use them tomorrow. I like it. I'm looking for bigger tickets that, that nobody will yeah. care in the rain. Yeah. That's what I'm sort of leaning towards. Oh, this art piece. Yeah, this is I don't think I'm even going to go Sunday, I don't think. What's this look like? You know, Mark? Right, we'll have to. <laughs> okay. No? Well, I like it, yeah. I'll try it. 80s. Yeah. It's screaming 80s, right? It's probably just is it a print? Probably a print. Well, it's got a look, right? It's got the look. The look. A little wagon. You know, it's got potential. Yeah, there should be. Yeah. Oh, that court? green thing. That green thing goes on, right? Yeah, yeah. I bet you're right. Yes, yeah. you're right. Yes. Oops. Now that I broke it. Really? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> All right, so we've made some progress in moving things out so we can take a look in some of these boxes. We'll pull. Oh, we have way to dress labels. That says photo. Probably not in there. Oh, jeez. Um, so we'll take some of these boxes out, see what's inside. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So if you ever want to get into the storage auction business, you need a place, oh, it looks like there's a sewing machine. You need a place to store the stuff or else you'll end up renting the unit. And then all this can be yours. Glass, can't wait to see what's in there. 
but now we have this. It said photo on the side. It's gonna be shaking, I'm sorry. Brought my knife today, I was smart. Oh, oh! This might be a good one. Vivitar camera. Oh, that's a flash. Wow. I mean, these are definitely older, I'd say. Instant load developer. Develops 35 millimeter black and white film in just four minutes. Huh. Does that have a date? This is probably one of the better boxes. Again, I don't know what this stuff's worth, but. Set of snowshoes. Oh. Huh. And then there's a tripod tray. This is nice. A photo log. This is probably one of the more, I'm gonna say, higher end boxes. The camera's not in here, but this stuff's pretty good. Filters. These are pretty nice. Not bad. So we found a local, a local piece of nostalgia. The Phillipsburg Mall ruler. Great shopping comes home. I actually do not have one of these, so this will go in my collection. Peaberg Mall, my first job ever. Limited to. That's neat. These are like their cufflinks. Oh, they are? Yeah, these are all cufflinks. Huh. Look cute. I mean, it doesn't look like they're great because sometimes they used to be gold. There's sometimes. a medallion. Yeah. It's probably religious. Yeah. But it's funny, it was all, all, that, old, all that new That's jewelry. probably one of the older things we found. Yeah, all the new jewelry. And... They're great. Huh? Yeah, they're cute. Mm -hmm. So we have a tote. Uh, we have some more insect posters. Those are a larger variety. All right, we're gonna open this together. One, two, three. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, a cheese box. Now we're getting to the older things. That's a nice guy. Well, that might be the oldest thing in this box. Oh, jeez. $3.99 from Rite Aid? Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world, storage unit world. Ten you. What? Oh goodness. Uncle Ben's rice. Let's pull this out and and take a better a better peek in what's inside. Oh, I don't know. Ugh. All right. Why is this like? Whoa. That's just fun. Tennessee Ernie Ford, <laughs> Wellburn Brothers, Tennessee Ernie Ford. How come we can't get any good records? I don't right? know. <laughs> Where's the Beatles? Where's the Beatles? And Where's the Rolling jazz? Stones. Yeah, jazz. Come on. Come on. You gotta have it out there. Can you get by me? Well, good news. You have a whole tin of Uncle Ben's converted rice from the Olympic Winter Games. Uh, 1991. Is this still edible? Like a This is this is might be the cheese box might be the best thing in there. Oh, it's broken. Not sure if it's broken. Our cups. We have a nice little purse. Oh, and McDonald's plates. Simply thrifty. Is not that one? Twenty dollars. Oh, that's for a set. Eight dollars each. I think this is a thrift store. Huh. Ooh, nice set of gloves. Norman Rockwell. Wonder when he's gonna come back in style again. There's a lot of glassware. Oh, this is a Victoria's Secret little bag. It's not bad. Is this a Coke bottle? Yep. 
That's huge. I could go for a Coke right now. What's that? What's that? What's the Coke motto? Is that the pause that refreshes? Uh, yes. The pause that refreshes. <laughs> How much money would you get back for this? They just have the deposit? It says return for a deposit, yeah. I don't know. They, they used to be a nickel, maybe? That's a big... I forgot what they used to That's be. actually a nice glass. Do they still do that anymore? I don't know. Okay. What year is this newspaper from? Uh, 2019. Huh. Oh, someone, one of the, um, one of the viewers commented that like when you pack a unit like this, you really have no intention of getting to the stuff all the way in the back. Like if you need something in the back, you're you're not gonna get it because it's all the way in the back. Oh well, it's like more glassware. This will be another good flea market um, box, minus the rice. I don't think anyone wants rice from 1991, 92. McDonald's is your kind of place. Two hamburgers in your face. Did you ever hear that? What's that? The McDonald's song? The McDonald's is your kind of place. Two hamburgers in your face. Three pickles up your nose. No. <laughs> French fries between your toes. Milkshake down my back. I want my money back before I get a heart attack. I never heard that. No, maybe my family made it up. If you heard that, let me know. <laughs> oh, oh, I like how it was written on this plate. No. It just looks like he's on a downward slope. I think I got it now. Unlock it. It's probably thousands of dollars inside instead. <laughs> Let's see, go in the trip. I mean, it's just like a portable sewing machine. Stacks of money. Goes. There we go. Yay. Let's see. Oh, nice. That's a cute yeah. a so singer manufacturer of Great Britain? Could be a little better. I don't think I've ever. Probably a little rarer, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen one that says that? Uh. I'm not sure. Maybe in looking around to see prices. It is sort of a cutie. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and it has little... Huh. Yeah, I don't remember. Not like I come across these that often, but, well, I actually do come across them. With Great Britain? Oh, they New Britain, Connecticut? Huh. I don't know. We'll have to take a look. So another view, we're working our way back into this corner. Now, those two totes are filled with clothes. The flea market that these items are going to are not a flea market for those kind of clothes. That's like Kmart, Walmart clothes. So those are just going to be donated. Those two totes take up a lot of real estate in a van. So it's better to donate them, let someone else use them. And we have all these boxes to go through. And that one says spicy spicy meat spicy cow spicy we're gonna get into some spicy stuff uh, the oldest thing i think we found so far is that sewing machine um but this definitely was a person that sold at the flea market they sold or they bought a lot because the tags on a lot of things Ta -da! a lot of hits he wants me to get a lot of views. Yeah, views. Not hits. So I'm in the corner. No one puts a baby in a corner. Um, oh. We've got a lot of clothes, a lot of dishes. Just stuff. Are you belting there? Stuff. But yeah, there's some belts. Okay, They have hangers. Can you, was this, just donate? I mean, recycle. I don't know. Garbage. Joey's from the flea market once. Oh, that's right. She can Never use them. Yeah, she she can use the plastic at, ones? At the thrift store, she uses them. All right, well, there's two bags. So those are, all, those are all hers. I think they are, yeah. See, so we are doing good. Yes. Another lamp. No, this is a good o. I know. These are the penguin server. Oh no, where's the lid? 
Here it is. No, that's not it. Darn it. Oh, here. No, that's not it. These, well, they used to do well. So the West Bend Company, the little penguin hot and cold servers. Where's the lid? Batman? Oh, that's the screen to watch it? I wonder if my mom could use this. Darn it, where's the lid? No, it's one of these. Oh, okay. But there's no lid. Get out. Yeah. That's weird. That's probably why we went to the flea market. Darn it. It should be. No. You're not, not going to believe this, but that was the kind of thing. I actually had that as a kid. My mother had that. Isn't that weird? Yeah, those do pretty it's well. Exactly my memories. Oh, an Xbox remote. I don't know what it like Memories from my childhood. What's this guy? Crystal. Oh, what was this for? has the bottom like that. Oh, is this for a candy? Um, Crystal number three. Sometimes. What are the other parts to this? Coffee, maybe? Coffee? The good things. Could be a coffee maker. I mean, a coffee grinder, you know? Hmm. I like the look of it. Yeah. Darn it. I don't think it's for oil. No, like gas, because no, that's too new. I... Huh. huh. Do we have like a box to put these together. things in? Huh. Let me get rid of this, get rid of this. Do we have a box we can put these in? Yes. Okay. These are the better things. I kind of like the box in the other bin. I should bring them over. Banana holder. Another lamp. Of course, I love their lamp. Desk lamp. And a Santa mug. Do you need a little DVD player? Might sell, right? Yeah, it's Batman. That's the pedestal base to that thing. Oh, I think Same. you need the... Alright. I just found this cute little uh, carrying case, we're going to call it. And on the top it says kitchen tools. This is really cute. Looks like there's good stuff in here. Oh. oh, this might be the jackpot right here. This might be the best box we found so far. All right, let's see. I guess we're gonna go through it this way. Oh, it's a little card set. There we go. Is that signed by Mickey Mouse? No. It is signed. I don't know by who, though. Ashtray. And a tool. I got excited. a clock that's kind of interesting I don't know if you'll be able to see the perfect safety corn shaver corn as in corn on your feet it's still in there will it work gotta get this to focus might have to look that up. 35 cents. That's a really cute little container. Hot warm. We have some of the taps for the beer. A pick. Usually these have some type of advertising on them. 1994 Mattel Hot Wheels. This says Ferrari. Ooh. Las Vegas. These like driving glasses. 
They are. Oh, wow. Those are awesome. Oh, they look so cool. Let's look these up. Because I get excited about things that sometimes have no monetary value at all. And actually, that's A-OK. -okay. So vintage... Ferrari sunglasses. Hmm. Collapsible frames. Hmm. Yeah, they're they're all over the board. Let me look in solds. Whoops, no. Maybe not as expensive I thought they might be. The ones from the 1980s are like eight bucks. They're still fun though. I'll put those back in there. It's okay to get excited about things that aren't going to bring you thousands of dollars. I have some older beer advertise. Uh, can openers. Arrowhead. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, second part of helping clean out a storage unit. One day, hopefully I will find and then be able to buy my dream storage unit. What would it have in it? Well, of course, ephemera, postcards, photographs, antiques, vintage items from the 80s, t-shirts. Does that storage unit exist? I don't know. We'll keep going to auctions, helping to clean out units so that we can find out and maybe one day we will come across that. But um, yeah, still a lot of work to do here. You know, if you're going to get into the storage auction buying a business, you have to be prepared uh, for all the work that it entails. It's fun to find these things, but you gotta have a way to move it, sell it, get rid of it, whatever you have to do, or else a whole unit will be yours to rent each month. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to click on that thumbs up button button. Um, that helps me to get into that YouTube algorithm and get views and people can see what I do, the work that I put into these and also the fun that I have. So again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for whatever the next adventure might be here at Paper and Moose.